so right now I'm in Odon Thani, which is the sixth biggest city of Thailand. So I don't know what to do over here. So we are going to explore the city of Odon Thani together. So without any delay, let's get started with this video. It's uh, evening time now. It's uh, five and a half in the evening. So we are just going to go out together, you guys and me, and we are going to explore the city of Odon Thani and we will check it out. So yes, let's go and explore the city. So it's evening time and I'm at the Nong Prajak Park. So this is uh, a way too big park over here. And I can see there is like cycling track down there and there is like this is the running track. And there was some fauna he's smiling at me. I, I don't know his nationality, but yes. Uh, anyway, this is a big park over here and there are too many people, people over here. So if you are in Odon Thani, this is a place to check out and hang out. It's a good peaceful place if you look over there the park is still keeps on going and we have that uh, rope bridge over there as well the vibes of this place i could i mean i can just sit and relax over here for a while now this over here is the government hospital of uh Udon Thani. uh it's it's quite big but anyway, we will continue exploring the place and we will look out for other places over here now. Many people do come over here. The area is crowded. It's full of vendors, lottery sellers, tuk-tuk people, tuk-tuk drivers and so on. So yes, a happening place in Udon Thani. So I just came one kilometer and this is still the park area going on. People are still jogging. This street looks good as well. So yes, uh, Odon Thani is beautiful. I met one of the most famous temple over here in Odon Thani. Its name is Wat Ponti Sontham, something like that. So I'm just gonna go up and check it out because apparently we can go up and, uh, and e even look at the sunset from over here. The temple looks good to be fair. It looks big and beautiful. So the red color is coming out to be bright due to the sunset right now. It's giving a good color to the temple. Right, let's go up and check it out. And apparently we can get a view of the city also from over here, a little bit of it. So a good place to check out. So it's almost sunset now and yes um, we can see a good enough sunset from over here so time to go from here and explore other places so there are many monks over here cleaning like little monks uh, young monks so maybe this uh, temple do have like a place for young monks to stay and live that's why there are so many of them cleaning around this monk he is going now he is like uh, a small child i guess around eight or nine years old but yes maybe this temple do have like some facilities uh, not every temple do have it all right so just near the temple we have this a small uh like night night market kind of a thing where we have like a street food we have like uh, vegetables fruits and drinks and clothes so yes this is a area in Odon Thani to check out uh, for some uh, street food and some delicacies during the evening time so i'm gonna go and check out something over there so some of the street food over here so you can get help for like 25 baht over here a proper meal at a market like this one so i mean thailand has uh, gotten expensive for sure but you can still get like cheap food 
like 20 baht uh, these are noodles covered in the packets for 20 baht so yes you can still get like cheap food in uh, many cities in Thailand good breads over here got a one of these uh, and here it's uh, only 10 baht so these uh, curries are 10 baht 20 baht this is like a place where locals come to eat so that's why the prices would be cheap so this was the market and I would be going to that uh, Lotus Cove Fresh to buy something to drink. So this is the same park where I was earlier. And while I was going over there, that time some people were exercising. So this is like a common theme in Southeast Asia as I have seen till now. But over to the side there were many massage parlors like some cheap massage shops. And there were many in number. And over there there were many open restaurants and people were sitting uh, to eat i just had to stop over here to take a photo of that sign over there don thani oh it's it's looking beautiful the water looks blue a different kind of color so too many people over here at the park right now i have to be careful of the bikes it's still evening so there is not so much crowd as such uh, like it would be around 12 uh, midnight around the midnight time but yes i'm guessing this is this has to be the nightlife kind of area okay so i'm over here at an indian restaurant so i just wanted to try some food it's been a while since i have eaten something uh, some indian food so i just wanted to try it out and uh, there was a restaurant over here so i just came uh, the name of this restaurant i believe is name of this restaurant is kera indian restaurant they stayed at the restaurant it uh, the parathas and it's the time to go from here so I'm just gonna go and check out how Udon Thani looks like during the night time. Like a uh, nightlife kind of scene over here. For those who are interested. So yes, in Udon Thani also you get it. This is spiritual night market over here. So I'm just going to park my bike over here. So just look at the vibe of the city at around 8 o'clock. There are so many people outside. Uh, there are a lot of night markets. So yes. Udon Thani is definitely beautiful. I guess this is not the place I was thinking it to be. This is not the night market, but a different venue with light band and everything. So a small market over here again. That area we had food. So it was like mostly just about food court and if people want to drink. But yes, over here. Again, we do have some a small kind of food stalls. So this area is like lit up, uh, so many things to do over here, so many foods to eat, so many restaurants, bars and everything. So yes, definitely a place to visit in Odonthani. It's near the railway station, uh, the uh, Odonthani railway station. Finally able to make it to the train night market over here in Odonthani. So I, I kind of got into a different night market because there are so many of them but this one is big so we are just gonna take a look uh, for a while and then we have to we can go to the hotel now it's too much for the day again people uh, people are still uh, like eating outside 
Usually in Khorat, uh, people just finish it eat like around uh, seven o'clock, seven and a half o'clock. People don't eat late like this. And like most of the night market in market in Khorat closes at like around 10, 10 p.m. But over here, this night market closes at 12 p.m. Tw uh, at the midnight. So that's uh, something different from Khorat. Yes, this thing I find a little bit different from Khorat because in Khorat we will have markets closing in at nine, at ten o'clock. So, but over here it's twelve. It's it's the midnight, and so much food over here. It's like heaven, heaven for the foodies. So many kind of food items to try some roti and yeah just got a cookie for 10 baht uh, so yes this is the night market over here with some uh, like massage parlors as well like spas I have to go over there because I have my bike over there and this is also a market so i don't know why there are so many markets uh, and there are so many people out right now so definitely maybe business is all right it's not that bad yeah so that's a market that's a market that's a market and this one is also a market so so many markets over here i guess it's kind of like 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 uh, the center we got some bars in that side uh, yeah so that, that, this is like uh, near central or uh, that's the railway station if you want to identify the place during the night time uh, Udon Thani is way too different from Korat today is not even weekend but everything is lit up and uh, over there also I saw a lot of food stalls right now uh, yes, it's it's kind of different for me personally being from Khorat and being uh, I, I have traveled to Buriram, Ubonwat Chitani The scene was completely different from Udon Thani. Udon Thani is like way too active during the night time Okay, it's nine o'clock and I'm back at the hotel. Third floor. And this is the hallway over here. So this is the room over here. So they have... So this is the room over here. They have air conditioning. So... And a refrigerator as well. So this is what you get over here in Odon Thani for 260 baht good balcony to dry off the clothes it's good so yes this is uh, going to be the hotel So it's, it's a little bit surprising for me to see that there's so much nightlife over here in Udon Thani. Like in Isan we do get nightlife but it's not like Udon Thani in other cities. And uh, yeah, before I came to Udon Thani I read a little bit about it. So I guess it's all because of due to like Vietnam war because uh, there used to be like US base over here. so. Uh, that's why this place also kind of became uh, became like a little bit like Padaya during that time. So I guess uh, even the Vietnam War affected so much, not just in Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, but in Thailand as well. Even now, some of the cities are are like because of the Vietnam War. Like Padaya is like Padaya because of the Vietnam War. Udon Thani is like Udon Thani because of the Vietnam War. So. Yes, it was kind of surprising for me to be here to see the streets like we got in Padaya. Uh, anyway, but yes, uh, 
it's a, it's a little bit different from like uh, other parts of the sun uh, uh, th those areas anyway i hope that you found this video informative about udonthani you got to see some places in this video uh, and you got to know how udonthani is like if you haven't been to udonthani before uh, so i hope this video will be helpful for you tomorrow i will try to make another video about some other places in Udontani. So yes, uh, do tune in to uh, the channel for future videos as well. So I will end this video over here, but uh, I hope you have a good day ahead. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.